Today I fucked up by telling my patient I was dating her boyfriend. This happened about two years ago and I wanted to die. Two parts to the backstory. Part 1, I'm engaged, now married, and we're trying for children via fertility treatments, so I guess you could say it's pretty serious. Part 2, my manager and office is amazing we laugh and joke a lot. We love our patients and joke with them a lot. My manager's brother is a cutie. Manager, her daughter and I often joke that he's my boyfriend. I've never spoken to him outside of the office. Story, my manager's sister-in-law comes in for an appointment and I'm supposed to present treatment to her. Family gets a discount and I asked my manager, which brother is she with? M, what? Me, which brother is she dating? It's not mine right? M, oh, ha ha no. She rushes off and I didn't think anything of it. Sil comes in the office. We always try and get to know our patients, so I was trying to get to know her, but I just stuck my foot in my mouth instead. Me, blah blah, small talk. Which brother are you dating? She mumbled something about not really. My manager's other brothers are in prison, so I thought the mumbling was about that. She asks me are you dating one? Which one are you dating? Me, ex and ready to explain how I'm not really. It's a joke with manager and I, but she just starts crying. I sat there trying to figure out what the hell just happened and she says, that's who I'm dating. Now, I'm trying to figure out how to explain myself without making my denial seem like he just got caught cheating and my heart falls into my pants and I wanted to die and I said can we please talk about this. I explain that I'm engaged and I've never spoken to ex outside of the office and I joke with manager and her kid that he's my boyfriend, but if he knew I told his girlfriend I was dating him, he would think I was a psychopath. And I pray that she believes me. She explains, she's not dating him either. They had been together a few years. They both have kids separately and their kids call each other mom and dad. She got pregnant and miscarried and was struggling to cope. He told her he couldn't deal with her like that and she needed to find someone better and dipped. They still go out and she was hoping they would fix things. At this point I just asked if I could hug her. I explained that we had also miscarried and I was a wreck. We cried and hugged and she turned out to be an angel of a human being. And then she said the most relieving sentence I've ever heard. Can you please not tell manager about this? I don't want anyone to know I cried about X. I hang out with her now and consider her a good friend. I'm grateful she's an amazing person and try and watch what I joke about. It's not the first time I said something that only I thought was funny, but probably the first time I just about ruined my life with a joke. Too long didn't read, I told a patient I was dating her boyfriend, even though I'd never spoken to him outside of the office. We both cried and hugged it out and now she's my bestie. Finally a good story for my free wholesome award. This story make me smile. Things that can happen are sometimes hilarious. Thank you so much. Glad I got you smiling. Smile. Damn that's a lot. I'm glad everything turned out okay and you made a friend, but wow. Life is rough sometimes. Me too friend. I really lucked out here. This is part of the reason I think calling someone a work wife or work husband is tacky and unnecessary. Why joke about it? Especially if the boyfriend doesn't know. As it turns out, it was tacky and unnecessary. I'm glad this turned out to be so wholesome. So, as someone who knows the infertility journey all too well, I truly wish you the best of luck up. You and me both. There was a moment when I thought my life was over. And thank you so much. We just started another cycle. I could use all the hope and positivity in the world. So so glad that worked out. I met one of my lifelong best friends by being a complete dick to her. We have literally laughed about it for decades at this point. It surprises no one in our best friend group that I would do something like that. A response to me in that moment that we met was so spot on that we hit it off like gangbusters. I'm so happy that you made such a great friend. Same with the friends of mine that know slash not a surprise that I would fuck up this way. Glad you made such a great friend by being your wild self. Smile. Today I fucked up by washing cum down my friend's bathroom sink. I've been renting a room from a friend of mine, 
who just bought the house and had an extra room. Every once in a while our work days don't line up, and I have a full day without anyone in the house. I finally decided to buy a flashlight to see if they were any good and would use it when I knew he wouldn't be around. Well when washing it out came around, I would rinse it out in the sink, then clean it. After a week or two I asked him if he'd noticed that the bathroom sink was draining slower than before. He said no and didn't think about it. Well I decided to unscrew the drain to see what was going on. I found a nest of hair and cum hanging on for their lives, I ran to get my pliers and pulled it out by the hair and changed the garbage. I never said anything, he never noticed, and I now empty it into the toilet before cleaning up. Too long didn't read, I washed my flashlight out into my bathroom sink, the cum and hair blocked the drain and I had to take it out. Edit, I thought cum sticking in even warm water was known more than it is. Edit 2, thank you for the awards, never got an any before. What a terrible day to have eyes. If someone invented a time machine I'd use it to travel back and scroll past this post. Well, how are you going to post this monstrosity and not tell us if the flashlight was worth it or not? Legit scared me cause I just bought a house, and a friend is renting out the extra room we have. Did I find his throwaway account? Question mark. Well, did recently he ask you if you noticed the sink is draining weirdly? Better to come in the sink than sink in the cum. Today I fucked up by thinking a spider was on my boob. Today I was standing at my kitchen sink absent-mindedly watching my neighbor and their dog in their backyard. The window above the sink is very large and you can definitely see inside my house from their yard. I was washing dishes and the neighbor was tossing a ball with the dog. It looked like much more fun than dishes. I felt something move on my titty so I scratched it. But then I swear I felt it again and thought it was a spider so I freaked out and lifted my shirt and slapped it my boob like 10 times real fast, really flopping it around trying to get the spider. A string fell out from under my titty and I realized that's what I felt, no spider. I glanced up just in time to see my neighbor running into their house. So now I don't know if they saw my titty flopping freak out and were upset or they were just done being outside. Stupid titty string. Too long didn't read, flashed my neighbor trying to kill a spider that was actually a string. Had the same thing happen to me at a bus stop except I thought it was a beetle in my shorts. I panicked, pulled down my shorts down to my ankles, and started screaming while slapping my penis. I did all this completely oblivious to the crowd in the bus stop. Completely embarrassed and fearing I would get arrested for indecent exposure, I was relieved to hear that this kind of behavior was not out of the ordinary around the area as it was in known to have a huge population of drug addicts who were prone to similar episodes. Phew, I never thought I would say this but that may be the only time in my life I was thankful to be confused for a tweaker. Had a big white sucker drop down from my visor and land right on my lap while I was getting on the highway. I looked mentally unstable, slapping myself silly while almost driving into the concrete barrier. Five sevenths would slap again. Something similar happened to me once except there actually a large spider in my bra. And now suddenly your boobs can shoot webs. I am so feeling this. Had something similar happen about a month ago while I was outside waiting for my dog to do his business in the backyard. I thought a little bug had flown down my cleavage, so I started squealing like a two-year-old girl while pulling up my shirt and shaking the bottom of my my bra. Much to my relief followed by horror, no bug, just boobs fell out. Next door neighbor Shaw has been nice to me since then. Stupid titty string, I read that in Homer Simpson's voice. 